Fossil evidence of early human civilizations. A replica of a Sangiran 17 Homo erectus skull from Indonesia showing a blunt face to an angular dome defined by a bone fitting in the brow. Anatomically modern human skull Skull Cow Swamp 1 from Australia with a face with an angled dome that matches Sangiran Skull 17, Wolf of Reconstruction. Proponents of the multiregional hypothesis see the regional continuity of certain morphological features spanning the Pleistocene in various regions of the world as evidence against the single model theory that humans originated in Africa. In general, the three main areas recognized as human origins are mentioned. Europe, China, and Indonesia often mentioned including Australia. Fossil skull in Indonesia, Australia. Thorne stated that for the morphological clade there is regional continuity in Indonesia and Australia. Based on the oldest order, he said that the earliest fossils came from Sangiran, Java, which can be traced to Nandong village and also recently found evidence of prehistory in Aboriginal Australia. In 1991, Andrew Kramer tested 17 features of the proposed morphological clade. He found that a plurality eight of 17 non-metric features linking Sangiran to Australia, and that suggestive of morphological continuity which implies a genetic continuum in Australasia at least one million years old, but Colin Groves criticizes Kramer's methodology, pointing out that that the polarity of the characters is not tested and this research is really convincing. Dr. Philip Habgood argues that Thorne's finding of the unique characters for the region of Australasia is said to be plesiomorphic. It is clear that all the proposed characters become clade features, linking Indonesian Homo erectus material with Australian Aboriginal skulls. These characters' fossil features are present in Homo erectus and Homo sapiens and ancient skull fossils in general. Many are also commonly found in the skull and jaw of anatomical modern Homo sapiens from other geographic locations, which is very common in Mesolithic skeletal material from North Africa. Quote, However, despite this criticism Habgood, 2003, allows for the continuity of limited areas in Indonesia and Australia recognizing four plesiomorphic features that do not appear in a unique combination of fossils in other regions. The sagittally flat frontal bone, with a posterior position of the minimum frontal area, prognathism, large face, and zygomaxillary tuberosity. This combination, Habgood says of it, is an, Australianus, fossil. Wolpeff, was initially skeptical of Thorne's claim, Dan became convinced when reconstructing the Sangiran 17 Homo erectus skull from Indonesia, when he was surprised that the skull face with angular shell features matched the fossil skull of a modern human from Australia Cow Swamp 1. Durband, 2007, stated differently that, the feature cited as showing continuity between Sangiran 17 and the Cow Swamp sample disappeared in the new era, by orthognathic reconstruction. Baba and his team argued, in a recent study of Sangiran 17 facial skull fossils conclude, the continuity of Sangiran facial skull fossils with skull fossils in Australasia is much clearer than Thorn and Wolpeff. Fossil skull in China. Replica of a Homo erectus, Peking man, skull from China. Xinji Wu, argues for a morphological clade in China that includes the Pleistocene period, accompanied by ten features. The sequence is said to start from Lantian and Peking man, tracing all the way to Dali from late Pleistocene specimens, e.g. Lujong, to recent fossil finds in China. Habgood in 1992 criticized Wu's list, suggesting that most of the ten features in combination appear regularly in fossils outside of China. Although it is known that there are three combined. No nasal root depression, no projecting perpendicular orientation of the nasal bones and a facial flattening that is unique to the Chinese region in the fossil record and can be evidence for the continuity of this limited area. However, According to Chris Stringer, Habgood's study did not include enough fossil samples to prove it came from North Africa, many of which suggest the small combinations he thought represented a particular region to China. Comparison of modern humans, left, and Neanderthals, right, skull. Genetic evidence for Nusantara humans. Human DNA mitochondrial tree diagram. Mitochondrial Eve, indicating that the human mitochondrial lineages coalesced in Africa. Neanderthal mtDNA. Feldhofer and Vindia Cave, based on research, stated that Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, was substantially different from that of modern human mtDNA. Multiregionalists have discussed the fact that between Feldhofer's mean order no associations were found between the human and chimpanzee subspecies, and hence that Neanderthals were different subspecies, and that they were still humans part of the same lineage. Ancient DNA. 
Recent analysis of DNA taken directly from Neanderthal specimens shows that they or their ancestors contributed to the genome of all humans outside Africa, suggesting there are several points that suggest interbreeding with Neanderthals prior to their replacement. It has also been shown that Denisova hominins were related to DNA originating from Melanesia and Australia by interbreeding. In 2006, direct DNA extraction from several ancient human samples was made possible. The initial analysis was of Neanderthal DNA, and showed that the Neanderthal contribution to the genetic diversity of modern humans was no more than 20%, with the most likely value being 0%. In 2010, however, detailed DNA sequencing of Neanderthal specimens from Europe showed that the contribution was zero, with Neanderthals sharing 1-4% more genetic variants with living non-Africans than with humans living in sub-Saharan Africa. In late 2010, a recently discovered non-Neanderthal ancient human, the Denisova hominin from southwestern Siberia, was found to share 4-6% more of the genome with living Melanesian humans than with any other living group, supporting the mix between the two regions in outside Africa. In August 2011, the ancient human leukocyte antigen, HLA, allele of Denisova and Neanderthal genomes was found to exhibit patterns in modern human populations suggesting the origins of these non-African populations. The ancestry of this ancient allele at the HLA site is more than 50% for modern Europeans, 70% for Asians, and 95% for Papua New Guinea. Proponents of the multiregional hypothesis believe that the combination of regional continuity within and outside Africa and pervasive lateral gene transfer to various regions around the world supports the multiregional hypothesis. However, proponents of the, out of Africa, Theory also explained this by the fact that genetic changes occur regionally across continents, and populations close to each other tend to share certain region-specific SNPs while sharing some of the same other genes. The migration matrix theory A equals mount, suggests that depending on the potential contribution of Neanderthal ancestry, we will be able to calculate the percentage contribution of Neanderthal mtDNA to the human species. As we do not know the specific migration matrix, we are unable to input the exact data, which will undeniably answer these questions. From the explanation above, we can conclude that the creatures that lived before Adam and possibly Adam also originated from the Southeast Asian mainland. Look at the oldest year in the archaeology list we find Japan the oldest. The initial distribution of genetics and the similarity in the form of fossils prove that the oldest fossils in Sangiran are the oldest. This proves that the beginning of life and even human civilization existed in the archipelago. Timeline of humans on Earth. The timeline is a chronological time of an important and noteworthy religion, namely prehistoric events. This discussion goes back to prehistoric times, because most humans experience written prehistory religious. Written history, with the age of formal writing, is only 5,000 years. There is still a great lack of written records in most of the prehistoric religious knowledge which comes from archaeological and other indirect sources, and from presuppositions. Many prehistoric religions are still under debate. Pre-50 millennium BC. Homo heidelbergensis is based on graves or tombs found, usually in burial burials. Graves. All over Eurasia, e.g. Pontnewith Cave, Wales, Atapuerca Mountains, Spain, Kafza, S. School. Krapina, Croatia, are believed to represent the beginning of ritual ceremonies, although there is some debate about this. Neanderthals place their deceased in simple graves with little or no attention to grave items or markers, but their graves occasionally appear with limestone blocks on or on them, perhaps an ancient form of tomb marking. This practice may be the result of feelings of empathy for members of other tribes, for example, babies are buried in the Dideria cave. Once the joint has been disarticulated it is placed with care for the correct anatomical arrangement of the body parts. 98,000 BC. In the fields of present-day France and Belgium, Neanderthals began excarnating their dead before their burial. 40,000 BC. The remains of one of the earliest anatomically cremated modern humans were buried near Lake Mungo. 38,000 BC. The Aurignacian Lohenminsk statue, the oldest zoomorphic, beast-shaped, sculpture in the world and one of the oldest statues in general, was created. This statue has also been interpreted as anthropomorphic, giving human characteristics to the animal, even though it may have represented a god. All compelling evidence for Neanderthal burials ceases.
approximately to coincide with the time period from Homo sapiens' introduction to Europe and the decline of Neanderthals, individual skulls and, or long bones began to appear, heavily stained with red ochre and separately buried. This practice is probably the origin of sacred relics. Oldest found pre-history, Venus statues, appear in graves. Some were intentionally damaged or repeatedly stabbed, possibly representing the killings of the people with whom they were buried, or due to some other unknown social dynamic. Years 25,000-21,000 BC. Clear examples of burials are present in Iberia, Wales, and Eastern Europe. This, too, incorporates the heavy use of red ochre. In addition, various objects are included in the grave e.g. periwinkle shells, weighted clothes, dolls, possibly drumsticks, mammoth ivory beads, fox tooth pendants, a full arsenal of ivory artifacts, stick, horns, stone knives. 13,000-8,000 BC. Burial activities are seen again. Previous cadaver activities have either taken less obvious or contemporary forms retaining some of their funeral knowledge in the absence of such activity. Dozens of men, women and children were buried in the same caves that were used for burials 10,000 years earlier. All of these graves are depicted by cave walls and large limestone blocks. The burials share a number of characteristics, such as the use of ochre, and mammoth shell and ivory jewelry, that go back thousands of years. Multiple burials, consisting of adult males with adolescent males buried by their sides. They are now starting to take the modern form of funerals. The usual old burials were re-excavated and moved to make way for new ones, with older bones often gathered and cached together. The large stones may have acted as grave markers. Mounts of ochreds were sometimes attached to posts in caves. This is compared to the modern practice of leaving flowers on the grave. 9831 BC. The Neolithic Revolution began and resulted in a worldwide population explosion. The first city, states, kingdoms and religions began to emerge. The early states were usually theocracies, in which political power was justified by religious prestige. This is the beginning of the first Sangam period in South India. 9130-7370 BC. This is a clear period of use of Gobekli Tepe, one of the oldest man-made sites of worship yet to be discovered. Evidence of similar use has also been found at another nearby site, Nevali Kori. 7500-5700 BC. The settlement of Katalhoyuk developed as a possible spiritual center for Anatolia. Perhaps practicing worship in communal temples, the inhabitants left behind many clay statues and impressions of phallic, feminine and hunting scenes. 5500-4500 BC. The Proto-Indo-European Pi appears, perhaps in the Pontic Caspian Plain, although in fact they are a disputed or hymat. The Pi community developed a religion focused on the ideology of victims, which would influence the religions of Indo-European cultures of descent throughout Europe, Anatolia and the Indian continent. 3750 BC. The Proto-Semitic people arose from the generally accepted or hymat in the Arabian Peninsula. Proto-Semites would migrate throughout the Near East to Mesopotamia, Egypt, Ethiopia and the eastern coast of the Mediterranean. Their religion will influence the culture of their descendants and religions, including the Abrahamic religions. 3300-1300 BC. The Indus Valley Civilization IBC, was a Bronze Age civilization, 3300-1300 BC, matured from 2600-1900 BC, in the northwestern region of the Indian subcontinent, famous for cities built of bricks, roadside drainage systems and houses, terraced houses, as well as to create artifacts that can be attributed to pre-Vedic. 3100 BC. The initial form of Stonehenge is complete. The Bank and Coop Trench, about 110 meters, 360 feet, across, may have been completed with a wooden hoop. 3100-2900 BC. Newgrange. 250,000 tons 226.7962 tons of the tomb section aligned with the Irish winter solstice, was constructed. 3000 BC. The Sumerian cuneiform emerged from the proto-literacy of the Uruk period, allowing the codification of belief and the creation of a detailed historical record of religion. Stonehenge's second stage was completed and appears to serve as the first closed cremation burial in the British Isles. 2635-2610 BC. Egypt's oldest pyramid commissioned by Pharaoh Djoser. 2600 BC. Stonehenge is starting to take its final stage form. The wooden posts were replaced with bluestone. 
This is starting to take on increasingly complex setups, including an altar, a portal, a stone station, and showing consideration of solar alignments. 2560 BC. This time estimate is accepted as the completion of the Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest pyramid of the Giza Plateau. 2494-2345 BC. The first of the oldest surviving religious texts, the Pyramid Texts, consists in ancient Egypt. 2200 BC. Minoan civilization developed in Crete. Citizens worship various goddesses. 2150-2000 BC. The earliest surviving version of the Sumerian epic of Gilgamesh, originally titled He Who Saw Deep, Shah Nakba Imuru, or Transcended All Other Kings, Shuchur Eli Sheri. 2018-50 BC. This is the traditionally accepted period in which the Judeo-Christian, Islamic patriarch Abraham lived. Probably born in ur Kasdim or Haran. He died in Machpelah, Canaan. 1700-1100 BC. The oldest of the Hindu Veda, holy books, of which the Rig Veda comprises. 1600 BC. The ancient development of Stonehenge came to an end. 1500 BC. The Veda age started in India after the collapse of the Indus River Valley civilization. 1351 or 1353 BC. Akhenaten's reign sometimes credited with initiating the earliest known monotheistic religion, in ancient Egypt. 1300-1000 BC. The Akkadian version of the, standard, of the Epic of Gilgamesh edited by Sin Lik Unani. 1250-600 BC. The Upanishads, Vedic texts, which comprise the early emergence of some of the central religious concepts of Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. 1200 BC. The Greek Dark Age began. 1200 BC. The Olmecs built early pyramids and temples in Central America. 877 to 777 BC. The life of Parshva, 23 Tirthankar of Jainism. 800 BC. The Greek Dark Age ends. 600 to 500 BC. The early Confucian script, Shu Qing, combines ideas of harmony and heaven. 599 to 527 BC. The life of Mahavira, 24 and Tirthankar last Jainism. 600 to 400 BC. The possible life of Laozi, the author of the Tao Te Ching, is considered the founding work of Taoist philosophy. 563 BC. Gautama Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, was born. 551 BC. Confucius, the founder of Confucianism, was born. 440 BC. Zoroastrianism entered recorded history. 399 BC. Socrates was put on trial for disrespect. 300 BC. Theravada Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka by Venerable Mahinda. 250 BC. The Third Buddhist Council was held. The. Lost. Ancient Civilization. In this world, there are many civilizations that have stood far away from the civilizations that we know today. But for various reasons that civilization was destroyed and left a legacy in the form of cultural remains in the form of objects, language or their place of residence. Machu Picchu, Peru. Machu Picquis, a pre-Columbian Inca site located 2,430 meters, 7,970 feet, above the surface the city is situated in the mountains, above the Urubamba Valley in Peru, 80 kilometers, 50 miles, northwest of and around the flowing Urubamba River. Most archaeologists believe that Machu Picchu was the real estate for the Inca Emperor Pachacuti, 1,438-1,472. Often referred to as the lost city of the Incas, perhaps the most familiar icon in the world is the Incas. One of the earliest theories about the purpose of the fort by Hiram Bingham, is that it was the traditional birthplace of the Inca, Virgins of the Suns. Research carried out by scholars, John Rowe and Richard Berger, has convinced most archaeologists that Machu Picchu was the estate of the Inca emperor, Pachacuti. Teotihuacan, Mexico. The ancestors of the Pueblo or ancestral Puebloans are an ancient Native American culture centered on the four corners of the United States, which consists of southern Utah, northern Arizona, western Mexico, and the lower part of Colorado. Cultural groups have frequently been referred to as Anasazi, although this term is frowned upon by modern Puebloan society. The word Anasazi is Navajo for, ancient ones. Archaeologists still disagree today, but the current consensus, based on the terminology defined by classification indicates their emergence around 1200 BC, 
During the archaeologically basketmaker era starting with early explorations and excavations, researchers believe that the ancient Puebloans were the ancestors of the modern Pueblo people. Pompeii, Italy. Pompeii is an ancient Roman city that was destroyed and buried, near modern Naples in the Campania region, in the area of the commune of Pompeii. Along with Herculaneum, Pompeii was completely destroyed during the cataclysmic long volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius over a span of two days in 79 AD. The Lemurian civilization, which is the earliest civilization on Earth, experienced a period of shrinkage marked by a devastating volcanic catastrophe. The volcanic disaster was estimated to be around 75,000 BC. The center of the Lemuria Empire was in the ring of volcanic fire which at that time was on the large continent of Sunda land, which has not been shaped as it is today, namely the Indonesian archipelago. The volcanic disaster in the Sundanese land continent is marked by the eruption of Mount Toba which leaves the current Lake Toba, also the Sundanese mountain which left the current Bandung Valley. Pompeii was buried by the eruption up to 4 to 6 meters high by ash and pumice, and the city was lost for 1,600 years before its accidental rediscovery around 1592. Since then, the excavations have provided extraordinary detailed insight into the life of a city at the height of the Roman Empire. Memphis, Egypt. The lost city of Memphis was the ancient capital of Aneb Hetch in Lower Egypt. The ruins are near the city of Helwan, south of Cairo. The history of Memphis is closely related to the country itself. The fall is believed to have been caused by a loss of economic significance in late antiquity, following the Alexandrian era. From a religious perspective significantly reduced after the abandonment of ancient religion after the Edict of Thessalonica. Memphis has several names in its history spanning nearly 4,000 years. Ancient Egyptian name in Bu Heju, and later, Aneb Hedge, translated as, White Wall, due to the magnificent fortress of the Crenellations. Lepsis Magna, Libya. Leptis Magna also known as Lectus Magna called Neapolis, was a prominent city during the Roman Empire. The ruins are located in al Qums, Libya, 130 kilometers east of Tripoli, on the coast where Lib de Wadi meets the sea. This site is one of the most spectacular and pristine Roman ruins in the Mediterranean. This lost city was discovered by the Phoenician colonists around 1100 BC, although it achieved prominence until it became the main power of Carthage in the Mediterranean Sea in the 4th century AD, BC. The city remained part of the Carthage-controlled territories until the end of the Punic Wars in 146 BC and later became part of the Roman Republic although from about 200 BC onwards, the city was for the purposes of an independent city. Adam. Adam is a character from the book of Genesis who is also mentioned in the New Testament, the Deuterocanonical book, also in the Koran, the Book of Mormon, and the Book of Iqan. According to the creation myths of the Abrahamic religions, he was the first human. In the Genesis creation narrative, he was created by Allah. Christian churches differ in how they saw the subsequent behavior of Adam disobeying God, often called the fall of man, and its consequences for all mankind. Christian and Jewish teachings hold the view that Adam and Eve, the first woman, were responsible for causing humanity to fall to earth, even though Islam teaches that both are equally responsible. Moreover, Islam claims that Adam was finally forgiven, while Christianity claims that redemption only comes later through the sacrifice of Jesus. Adam's descendants founded the Lemurian civilization. The development of humans on earth through several stages which finally established the ancient civilization formed by the children of Adam. Adam's descent for most of its history can hardly be traced. The earth sinks to the lowest level and at that time spiritual consciousness goes out. Adam and Eve lived on earth with a variety of less developed developments. When Cain, Kabul, killed Abel, Adam's descendants who killed each other, he was expelled to find a wife from another descendant, Cain went to the mainland of Lemuria to find a partner. Adam and Eve were not the first creatures on earth, they had neighbors even though they were far away. The mystery that gave birth to Cain's descendants and flourished in Lemuria, descendants who lost morals and spirituality until God gave a big disaster. Some historians have different assumptions in the concept of translating Adam and Eve as humans who were first created by God. Adam has more to do with the spirit who was first created, then they were accompanied by many, couples, who also live on planet Earth. Logically, when Cain was kicked out of Adam's circle, how could he find a partner? The question is, is the physical partner the same as Eve? Adam's descendants come from the island of Borneo. The story of Zulkarnain's journey in the letter al-Kafi is mentioned as, Atba'a Sababan, 
which can be interpreted simply as a journey to trace the causes or origins. Apart from walking into the area called Between the Two Gorges, known by the story of Gog and Magog, Zulkarnain also traced two other causes, namely to the location where the sun is setting and the place where the sun rises. Where are the two regions? To determine whether an area is to the east or west, we must first know its center point, which is the zero longitudinal coordinate point. So far, the zero longitudinal coordinates have been determined only by consensus, namely at Greenwich. Unlike the latitude coordinates, which are easily known to be the zero point on the equator according to the sun's orbit, so far the longitudinal zero has only been an imaginary line. However, the Quran clearly states the characteristics of the zero point location, as follows. The olive tree that grows neither in the east nor in the west, whose oil is almost illuminating even though it is not touched by fire. Surah and Nur 35. Not east not west equals longitudinal zero point. Where exactly? Olives. Undeniably comes from Greece. Some of the things that strengthen it are as follows. The strength of ancient Greek mythology about olives. Olive cultivation is still very strong in this country and Greece is the third largest producer of olive oil in the world. There are many very old olive trees that are over 4,000 years old, which are up to currently still producing, one of which is the olive tree of Boos. The phrases, oil almost illuminates, and light, in QS 2435 are symbols of guidance, meaning that the location of this olive tree was once the center of civilization, and Greece is the center of European civilization and the world, which even today, the teachings of its philosophers continuously studied. In the history of ancient Greece, there were hundreds of philosophers, among them the famous ones, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. There are archaeological remains in the form of omphalos stones at the Delphi site, Greece. The word omphalos means navel, umbilical cord, and is called the belly button of earth, the center of the earth. This omphalos is strong evidence and at the same time a preserved verse. The following is a picture of omphalos found at the archaeological site of Delphi, Greece. Based on these characteristics, then Greece, or more precisely the Delphi site, has strong evidence as a longitudinal zero coordinate point, replacing Greenwich which until now was determined only by consensus. The longitudinal coordinates of the Delphi site based in the Greenwich point are 38 degrees 29 and in 22 degrees 30, e. In the decimal coordinate is written 38.5 and 22.5 e. In the story of Zulkarnain's journey, the west and east points are determined based in the sun's orbit through the equator, where west is the sun's setting point, and east is the sun's rising point. The process of rising to setting the sun at the equator covers a duration of 12 hours, or across half the Earth's sphere, which is 180 degrees. And its center point, which is Delphi, divides exactly two locations in the range 090 degrees west and 090 degrees east, respectively. Thus it can be calculated the most eastern and western coordinates, based in the Delphi reference, with the following formula. Sunset point. 90 degrees west, longitude coordinate Greenwich, sunrise. 90 degrees west plus, longitude coordinate Greenwich. The sun's setting point, the westernmost point. Based in the formula, the sun's setting point is at the coordinates, equals 90 degrees west, long. Chord. Greenwich equals 90 degrees 22.5 degrees equals 67.5 degrees west. By using the mobile app, Maps coordinates, the exact location at the coordinates, 0 degrees north 67.5 degrees west, is, state of Amazon Brazil. To prove this study, the location must meet the characters as stated in the Quranic verse, as follows. al kaf 86 until when he reached the place where the sun set, he found the sun set in, Ainan Hamadan, and he found there a group of people. We said, O Jolkarnain, you can torture or you can do good to they. Ainan. Spring, spring, spring. Hamadan. Sludges, black mud, black mud. Anan Hamadan. Black muddy water source. In the Brazilian Amazonas region, there are many small streams of water originating from several springs, which meet into a river called the Black River or Rio Negro. True to its name, Rio Negro means, black river, but it is not as black as one might imagine but looks like the color of strong tea. The black color comes from organic acids that are not completely decomposed by the vegetation around the river. Then, this black flow of water originating from the Rio Negro meets the brown mud flow originating from the upper Amazona River, 
becoming an interesting phenomenon called the Encontro das Aguas, meeting of the waters. Phrases. Hi Zulkarnain, you may torture or do good to them. Shows that Zulkarnain, because of his power, has free will, free will, so that he may determine something he wants of his own will. The name Amazona itself comes from the word Ahamsana which means, obtaining or claiming for oneself and will, the right to obtain something or claim something for himself and on his own will. Thus, from the etymological study, the name, Amazona, fulfills the character mentioned in verse 1886. As for what is referred to as a group of people, are some Native American tribes, which are in this area, some of which are in the location, isolated who until now have never experienced contact.